Hello, horsey people. Today, I wanted to breed the cheapest foal that I could find against the most expensive foal that I can find in my sort of bag of stuff. Now, I have just done a video on breeding horses, but I think I still have a couple of combinations that are really expensive, like a Percheron cross an Arabia or a Thoroughbred or something. I, I'm pretty sure that's the most, one of the most expensive. So we're gonna have a little look and see what the results are. This is only a short and sweet video. We're literally gonna be breeding like a cheap foal and a rich foal, not a rich foal, an expensive foal. And just seeing how that compares in terms of like luck. I have been doing a Clydesdale uh, sort of collection thing where I'm trying to breed as many coats for Clydesdales as possible, um, which is really fun, really enjoying that. Um, Breeding every colour of Clyde style that we can, basically. Oh my goodness, you aged up. Look how cool this one looks now. <gasps> wow, this is one of my cross coats that actually went well. Look how cool he looks. I'll tell you what, I'm going to feed this some. I think this will be good today for an... Ex uh, that'll be for our expensive fall. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but welcome to the channel. If you're new, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And please don't forget to give us a carrot. Thank you so much to everyone else who, who supported the channel up to this point. I can't believe it. And I have big news as well about my life, which means I'll be able to invest a lot more time and energy into this channel. So yeah, hit me up with some ideas as well because we are gonna be having a good time. I'm just gonna go with like, ah, oh, is that like a stat? Not even stats, like, I'm trying to think, like you must be the cheapest one, but you're blue red, so maybe not. Like I need a really cheap, I need like a quarter horse that's cheap to breed. Um, A quarter horse and a paint would be cheap, right? Let's have a look. Let's try and find the cheapest fall that we can. So I'm pretty sure, like this quarter, but they have really rare colors. I don't tend to have like bad colors at the moment. Not bad colors, that's terrible, but like you, oh dear. Oh wow, okay, so it's cheap though. It's a bay brindle. I didn't even know I had that in the cupboard either. I'm gonna breed it. Oh, it's gonna be a quarter horse, but I could like mix this color up. Um. Oh, I see. So actually you can get, if you put in, what color did I put in? Oh, guys, I'm so stupid. It's like chocolate palominos as well. So I could mix this up and put all different colors in. Which horse did I literally just have in there? I had the blue roan. Okay, so actually a blue roan plus the bay brindle can produce another like rare coat, but it's only 500 quid. Okay, uh, cheap fall. Let's see what we get. Oh, <gasps> that's a cheap fall, and we just bred a like a unique breeding outcome, and that was a cheap fall. Are you having me on all this time? I've been like trying to breed stuff, and I've just bred a really cool bay brindle. It is a quarter horse, but actually, I'd like to. We need to breed this eventually with something else. I'd love to get that coat pan on a Clydesdale. That's going right on my list of stuff to do, <laughs> definitely. So we're just gonna kill some time for a minute, guys, because we need to wait like four minutes before we go and breed another horse. I think this is a thoroughbred up there. I'm gonna go check that out. I probably should get on a horse. So um, we're gonna find and try and breed the most expensive foal next. And just, you guys, just tell me in the comment section below who you think your favorite foal is. Obviously, it's, it's a bit biased because I did use cool coat patterns for that cheap fold, but it was cheap. It was still cheap, which is cool. Wee! And I suppose it's just to do with the colours. We might do... Is that a Clydesdale staring at me over there? There's something cool here. I think it's a paint, actually. I need glasses. It is a paint. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should just catch a load of stuff and then sell it. We could just do that for a minute. Um, Yeah, maybe I should just use plain coats as well. Mm, maybe it's not fair. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll do like like most expensive versus cheap fault and we'll see what happens. I'll try and use like more plain horses like this one as well. I'll have a look in my cupboard. My cupboard? My bag. We might breed more than the four, uh, the two foals as well today. We might do four foals, you see. We might do. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Like look in my bag a second. Let's have a look. So I've put it into stat order, but maybe I should put it into colours. Colours. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything like, I have all the rare stuff, which is good, but um, it was still a cheap fault, so I'm not too worried. Um, Value. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So actually breeding like these guys down here would be like the cheapest ones. Oh, okay. 
I should have probably looked at that a minute ago, but I didn't. So uh, let's go. Well, we're going to breed a really expensive foal in a moo. And I don't know if it's the value of the horse that makes a difference to the value of the foal or whether it's just the breeds or the combination of the breeds. I don't know. If you guys have an inkling, then please let me know. I don't know why I'm going over here. Um, sometimes there's another horse over there. It's, they're all a bit rubbish at the moment. There's not really loads here, but uh, ooh, we could sell you. Is that a blue rain one again? It is, isn't it? I keep finding the blue rains, which I don't mind. I just, I have quite a few of them. A hundred pound for that? That's it? Really? Oh my goodness. That's like no money at all, is it? That's why you need to go find like the rarer coats, uh, rarer breeds rather. Okay, I think we might have killed enough time. I'm just going to head up this hill for a bit of fun because I never do that. Let's just go up here. Um, what's the little round pen? What are these little round pens for in the game? Are they for anything specific Is it, or are they just looks? Or maybe they're in the quests or something? I don't know. What's that over there? There's something Palomino. Hang on, I've been distracted by something. There's something over the brow of this hill that looks quite good. There's a nice grey up there as well. Bit of a sucker for a grey, me. Oh, it's just a... Okay, do a Yui. I feel bad, like, doing a Yui. Where I just saw something else as well. I'm, like, going mad, I think. Um, I don't know. I do love a grey, though. I love greys in, in, like, real life as well. I think that should be enough time. I would like a full. Oh, I've still got to wait. Okay, well, we can wait while we faff about here. So it's got to be the most expensive. So actually, I've got to find the most expensive anyway. So let's go with the value and see if that makes any difference. So you're the most valuable? Really? You are. With this one. That's definitely not the most expensive fold that I can make right now. Um, Let's go. I know exactly. Let's go with like, like Rocky would be expensive with maybe a Frisian would be expensive I bet like that okay that's 2,600 I did breed a fall the other day for like nearly 4,000 I can't think oh there's 3,010 okay that's good that that's a better combo that's actually a really cool combo uh let's try with chocolate Frisian oh that's even more expensive <laughs> I've got to try and remember which one's like more expensive as well maybe it's the rarity of the coat that's the like to do with the price okay that one's that one's the most expensive now oh my goodness so what about andalusian okay no has to be a client sale or a plusheron i think plusherons are definitely the most expensive and the thoroughbred was really oh my goodness okay yeah it was definitely to do with the color i think like the chocolate palomino would is cool um Let's see what other oh look at this one like that is cool let's see if i can mix that up and make that even more expensive why can i make this really expensive like you oh you're not as expensive you oh you're expensive okay so an arabian okay this is literally the most expensive for ever arabian cross the frisian is really expensive that's good what about Persheron? oh not so much it must be the colors guys what about gray Ooh, thoroughbred because that was expensive, but not... Wait, which horse did I just use to get the most expensive? Oh, okay, right, it was this one. What about Thoroughbred Duff Grey? Hmm. Okay, well, still not as expensive as this. This is the most expensive foal that I have actually ever bred on this game. And it's the most expensive foal I've been able to find today. Which is good, because today is... Today is... Cheap versus expensive foal, and seeing the difference, so... Let's let's have a look. Let's see what we get. You never know. Let's see what we get. Oh my goodness, it's crazy looking. It's so cool. Um, but I would say in terms of like the chance of rarity coming out, I think it was the cheap horse was better, you know? Uh to get the bay brindle was cool. Uh where we should have got the chimera, really. Oh my goodness, it's cool. I don't know. So it's a dapple grey with the with the Frisian with the fjord mane, which was where's his yeah okay so okay so it swapped manes with the other one, which is kind of cool. I love the fjord mane and tail that 
like gets bred around actually i think it looks really cool yeah okay this is a cool looking foal so which foal do you guys prefer this one or the other one so this is the most expensive foal that i've ever had in my life and then where's the other one on let's just go to like newest this one this is the cheapest foal i ever i ever bred and it's like really cool <laughs> um this isn't going to be the only false day actually we're going to have another round i think because it's too fun but having said that i need to be a bit careful i am i'm sort of running out of horses at the moment but if we go like value that seems to be a good thing but i definitely think it's the color that makes it expensive or not but maybe i'm wrong guys tell me if i'm wrong tell me if i'm wrong or tell me if i'm right okay i need to stop singing come on So we've got a little bay, little bay brindle there. He's really cute. Um, it's a grumpy horse apparently though, but it is a mare. So I tell you what, we'll we'll be able to do a bit of breeding of of these new coats as well, which is going to be cool. I'm really excited about. <laughs> really excited. It's very grumpy. Let's just get another. I'm just uh getting like screenshots at the moment. So it's either that bay brindle guys or it's this one. I don't know which one I prefer. I, I like them both. I think in terms of money, I think for a cheap foal, that came out really good. <laughs> which is excellent. We could try a different combination of like cheap and cheap mare, like expensive stallion or something like that and see what happens. Uh, let's just pop to forest. I want to go and get some resources a bit quick. Because we're going to need some lassoes. Because I do want to do some more like catching wild horses. And that kind of thing. Bronze. I need to get some resources guys. I'm a bit like hard up. I have found really cool stuff on here lately. So I don't want to like sign Forest Island off either. So we'll just have a little quick look around here. And then we're going to head back to... What am I doing? Newest. Yeah we'll head back to mainland i'm going to breed some horses okay i'm just going to buy some of this iron ore again oh my goodness oh i don't really want to like uh let's go 30 of them and let's go like 20 of these i didn't really want to spend my money on stuff like this but obviously you need to oh goodness look at that hold the phone this would be a dream horse to catch today or at some point this week is the liver chestnut region or is that chestnut region Oh, it's a liver chestnut. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been after one of those for ages. For some of you guys that follow the channel, you will know that I've been after that for a very long time. Okay, I'm just going to ride Smokey here. Um, Let's go around the back here. Sometimes there's something cool. There's already something cool. I see it. You've got to keep your eyes peeled. It's around this side of the island normally. Oh, that's just Napoli. So I'm going to grab that. There's something cool on the right here though. I'll show you guys in a minute. I think this is an underestimated island. It's a good island. But we'll just catch the thing I've just seen. And we'll, we'll head back to mainland and go and breed another... Well, I think we'll go for another cheap foal. And we'll go for another expensive one. Which is really fun. So fun. I love it. But you guys playing the game at the moment while watching my videos. Because if you are, that's that's you're a trooper. That's really cool. I used to do that all the time as a kid. But then we didn't really have gaming when I was a kid. So apparently it was like International Women's Day. I didn't even know, to be honest, which is terrible. Um, the other day. And yeah, like, you know, it's it was definitely a thing that girls... It just wasn't cool for girls to game, especially. So um, it's cool now. It's cool now, I think. I hope. Um, I don't know if it's cool as a 29-year-old to be gaming. I don't know, but that's another thing. I'd be like uh, ageist next. I'm going to catch you because you're cute. Here we go. I feel like I just clicked loads when I uh, played this game. So there's a resources on here today as well, which is great. Yeah, I found a thoroughbred on here the other day. And I found a Clydesdale. I kid you not. I was on here the other day just playing to myself, having a lovely time. And I found like everything cool. You know, it's just typical because I wasn't recording. Okay, well, let's head back. Back to the butt. To the butt, butt, butt. Sorry, little grey. I normally am a sucker for grey and I will just catch you because you're grey, but I'm not going to. I don't want to get distracted. We'll go the value thing and we'll go with like the two lowest value on the 
sort of in the bag sort of thing and see, see what happens um i like different breeds i'm not gonna lie i'd like to like like it to kind of have a cross coat element to this but we'll see what happens uh yeah so when we look in the bag here we've got like value so um we'll go with like the two least value valuable ones and see what happens we'll do like that instead because i didn't realize you could actually categorize them through through how valuable they were so let's just see what happens so apparently you're really unvaluable oh no and apparently you're really unvaluable which i feel really bad about um but that that's quite that's quite an expensive fall i reckon we could get cheaper let me have a look in my bag like mustang plus mustang it's actually quite expensive oh, whoops okay okay do you know what let's just let's just use what the bag says okay let's just go with like you plus i would like a paint horse in that color though as well well that that is expensive okay well this is the cheapest fall i think we're gonna get today so let's just see what we get this is uh cheapest fall number two <laughs> i was only gonna do one round but um, i got a bit excited about it <gasps> Ooh. oh it's a blue run it's a blue run quarter horse it is very basic okay it's nice but it's not like that nice you know I can't believe we bred like a Bay Brindle and stuff. But then I suppose it's cheating because one of the parents was Bay Brindle. So I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's very fair. So we have four minutes to kill and then I'm going to see which like horses are the most expensive. So we'll have a look in the bag and see. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea. Let's see who we could breed but needs to have a bonding level up. Like you. You need a bonding level up. So let's get some corn out and we'll hopefully sort that out um sounds cool um how do i do this again i'm just having a brain fog there we go hmm, i think this is the one i just like caught oh, on another video i think i'm not sure i can't remember what i've done on, on a day to day at the moment Who doesn't love a dapple grey, though? I mean, come on. That's a dapple palomino, Lady Ranger. Goodness sake. Uh, Yeah, let's keep looking in the bag. What mares have I got that are really, like... What are you? You're cool. What about you? Apparently you're really valuable. It's a thoroughbred. I don't know this. I don't know which ones I've, like, bred uh, recently, because I did do a video literally before this one. I do tend to pre-record a lot of my stuff. And I don't... I can't remember, like... Which one I've used and which one I haven't. Okay, you've got a bonding level. Um, right, This Frisian, have I bred you lately? No, I have not bred you. Ah, I could breed with you then. That'd be cool. That's good work. Pressure on. And we've got like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think who I'd like to. I've definitely used that because I just did a Clydesdale video. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah, you. This is the horse I was telling you guys about. That I bought for like 300 gold. I kid you not. And I was, it was just a rare horse for sale. And I was like, I'm sh I just never see these. So I bought, I think I bought two of them. Or maybe it wouldn't let me buy two. I tried to buy two of them. Yeah, and then it just didn't let me. It was like, you already have one. I was like, but I want two. <laughs> I'm an only child. Do not tell me what I cannot and can and cannot have, please. Yeah, we'll head back to the main, uh, the breeding center now and see what we get. Let's just have a look in the bag a second. I like looking, you know, when you go to select what stallion and mare you use, because, yeah. Hello, Francine. I'd like a foal. Let's have a look. Um, like, apparently you're the most valuable one. With Smokey. How much? Dude, that's not expensive. I see, I think, like... I think the Percheron's the most expensive. Like, you, you're going to be expensive. Definitely that's going to be expensive because that's my cross coat uh, with you. That, something like that. Let's see what else we've got. Um, Like Scooby. Got if, if we can try and get it over like three grand. Oh, I got it over three grand. <laughs> then that'd be cool. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to breed like a pre-bred um, Percheron though right now. Or do I? Because we are doing like, okay, that could work. We are doing the most expensive, like, we're trying to get the most expensive horse. See, that's a cool Bercheron as well. So that's 3,000 something, Duda. What about a Dapple? Ooh, that could work. Okay, we could try that. 
Um, I'm trying to think other breeds we have. That this one? Okay, that's another cool one. Okay, so thoroughbred and Percheron works well. What about Frisian? Frisian and a Arabian. What does that do? Okay, maybe not. Okay, so definitely the most expensive one to breed is Percheron. But what colour Percheron do I want? <laughs> this is the question. So I can have the chocolate. I could have peaches. Let's go with the chocolate. Chocolate one. Ah, uh, with... Ooh, like, how much is this? Okay, so even that wouldn't be more expensive. So actually, it's going to be the thoroughbred, isn't it? Yes, the thoroughbred is more expensive. What about pure white thoroughbred? Oh, imagine a pure white Persian. But I do actually have a, have one of those already. Like, the Phoenix is expensive. I just found something even, ra like, more expensive, though, didn't I? Oh, no, that is expensive. Okay, that's... <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's really expensive. That is going to be a purebred Percheron, guys. Good lord. Okay. I'm waiting. Okay, this is the most expensive fall. I thought the most expensive fall I've ever had was the other one. But no, uh, it's now this one. Oh my goodness. I have no money left. I have literally like no money left. And it's like the most basic. <laughs> it's just a Bay Percheron. It didn't even come out like any of the rare colours. It didn't come out chocolate. It didn't come out dabble. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Right. Well. There's your answer. In my opinion, the cheaper fall was the winner, which is crazy. But what do you guys think? So there is the cheaper fall there. And I know it's not particularly like accurate, but we even bred a unique outcome for £600 or gold, not pounds. We spent four and a half grand on this guy and he's just a bog standard bay percheron. <laughs> spent so much money on this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it. Don't forget to have a awesome day. Channel members, you guys are legends. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. We are going to be gaming live soon, I promise. We are going to be doing it. And I have big changes to my life, which is for the better for all of us. Yes, we're going to be gaming lords. I hope. Have a awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a carrot. Thank you. And have... Oh, I can't press E. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.